Hi, this is Dale LeBrockton for Unlocking the Secrets of Restaurant Entertainment. Today, I have a tip for you that is going to be different. It is going to be something that, yes, you've heard this before, but never the reason why to use it in this fashion. And it's going to be something simple that you've heard before. It's called a testimonial. And stop right there. I know what you're going, Dale. I know all about testimonials. I have testimonials. People have given me testimonials, but it's not about that. The reason why we do testimonials, as you know, it shows our credibility. It tells other customers why we're there, how good we are, and it's backing for sales information. But that's not why we're doing a testimonial. The reason why we're going to be requesting a testimonial is when you work in a restaurant, and it's usually within that first month time period, that owner in their mind is still playing the concept of, geez, is this guy really worth the money I'm paying him every week to come in here? I'm not seeing sometimes a big jump in sales. I'm not seeing, you know, what I was promised, but people are happy and I'm kind of happy with the service, but I don't know if it's delivering fully what I anticipated. And that's usually within that first month. When we get into that second month, their mind has already flipped and said, yeah, it's working. It's the way it should go. I like this. If I, if I didn't have you here, business would be slower. But what we're going to be doing in that first four to six weeks is you're going to walk up to that manager. You're going to ask that restaurant owner for a testimonial. And the testimonial is not to sell or solicit to other restaurants, but it's to reconfirm their decision. They're going to be putting in writing what the good things are about you and what you're doing to improve their business. This will reconfirm all their doubts and judgments because they're going to say, he's bringing in more families. The kids are happy. My staff is happy. And he's writing that positive list that actually sells himself on why you need to be there. So the purpose of the testimonial in this case is not to solidify outside sales. It is to ensure that the restaurant owner feels comfortable with his decision and he writes this out and you now have it in writing to say, hey, this is great. This is the perfect thing I want. But the whole purpose is to help him confirm his idea because studies have shown that when somebody hires you, that is the right thing. They're positive in their mind. They're not going to go back on it, but they can second guess themselves. When somebody actually commits it to writing, it makes it stronger. Now, if you're looking to get a testimonial for another restaurant and the manager, the owner is a little reluctant to do that, you could always go to a server and ask a server, say, hey, you work here. Can you give me a testimonial on what you see? And again, this can reconfirm what is going on. So if you have a server in the restaurant who just doesn't like you, thinks you're always in the way, ask them for a testimonial and they'll bring out the positive things and they will actually convert from being a anti-entertainer to, hey, yeah, it works out. My tips have increased. The kids are happier. And again, it changes their mental attitude. So today we're talking about testimonials, but not for the purpose of sales. It is the purpose of confirming the reason why they hired you. Again, this is what I do in restaurant entertainment. I try to show you how to get more out of the restaurant. It's not about the money grab. It's about getting more. And in this case, what you're going to do is find within that six weeks, not only are you going to get the letter that reconfirms why you're there, but it's also a testimonial that you could use it at second restaurant or a third or in your marketing or six months from when he goes, you know, I really don't think this is working out. You can pull that letter out and go, geez, what has changed, you know, since the last time? And he may be able to point to different things and it may keep you on at that restaurant for six months or another year afterwards before he changes his mind again. So this is Dale Abrakta talking about how to unlock the secrets of restaurant entertainment. I have a link down below or right in this video here. Go out there on that Facebook page and connect. Join with us. Make sure you're part of my list and subscribe. This is Dale Abrakta signing out for Unlocking the Secrets of Restaurants Entertainment. Don't forget, click like, click share. Again, have a great day.